Rusty Stainless here with Helicoid Focusing Ring. Now this is the bit you need to make an enlarger lens work on your digital camera. I just want to explain exactly what it is. It's called a helicoid because helicoid is that twisting shape. It's like a piece of DNA and so as you twist it goes in, you twist and it goes out. So that's why it's called a helicoid. It seems unusual to DSLR, 35mm camera users, because uh, uh, most of the lenses we use have it already built in. And I'll show you uh, in comparison to some older manual lenses. But if you'd been using uh, large format cameras, you might well be familiar with it because uh, they often use a helicoid to help with the focusing. Uh, a set of bellows uh, does the same job of moving the lens further or closer to the focal plane to to take the photo to the film plane. All right, let's compare it to some old manual lenses. All right, so here I've got a 50 mil Shinon lens, a old 35 mil Takamura lens. And here's a Nikon enlarger lens mounted on the helicoid. Now, there's a quite a big difference in the three of these. In these two lenses, the helicoid part is actually sits at the front, and you your aperture mechanisms at the back there. So there's the focusing ring and aperture there, and same on this one, the changing the aperture at the back here, and your focusing helicoid is at the front. In this arrangement, your aperture changing is at, at the front here, and you've put the helicoid at the back. Now. Here's the other interesting difference, is the amount of travel. Let's start with the smallest one first. This one here, going from completely in to completely out, it's only traveling a distance of about four millimeters. I know you can't see that, but I just thought I'd put the ruler there anyway. The Shinon, it's traveling about seven millimeters from closest focus to infinity. Now, with this separate helicoid, it travels a massive 14 millimeters. Wow, you might say, oh, that's uh, awesome. Well, the downside of that is, is that it actually uh, takes the lens out beyond infinity focus. So. Whilst these ones uh, stop nicely at infinity, uh, this lens will in fact go beyond infinity and so you have to pull back a bit to, uh, to get to infinity. Um, that's alright uh, taking still photos, but um, if you're using it on video and you're trying to do a nice zoom out to infinity uh, and you go past, well you've kind of ruined your shot. But yes. Take the lens out, and that's it, the helicoid. That twisting motion like a piece of DNA.